Students, we are discussing merger and acquisition phases, and in that, we are discussing about the HR implications. In this topic, we are going to talk about the HR implications of the implementation phase. You can see that this is the fourth and final stage of the M&A integration process. This is the implementation phase. In implementation phase, the entire plans which have been chalked out in the previous phases are implemented into action. Now in the implementation phase, uh, the responsibilities of the HR department and the HR challenges faced by the organization uh, will obviously evolve into new stage. Uh, what you would need to be doing is managing ongoing change, especially cultural change. Now you have uh, looked at the differences in culture you have in the integration planning phase, you have chalked out the strategy for cultural integration. Now you are in the implementation phase, you will be implementing those strategies and trying to smooth out the process of change, particularly the cultural change. Uh, you would be managing employee communication according to the plans that you have chalked out, how the communication is going to take place, uh, whether you are going to convert into electronic communication or you are going to convert into manual communication, although you were communicating electronically in your more developed country. So what is going to be the communication strategy and implementing that communication strategy is, uh, um, is, is going to take place in, that, in this phase. Uh, then in this phase, the HR people would be concerned about ad advising management on dealing with people issues. So people issues are going to come up. You are mixing cultures, you are uh, hiring new people, you are letting go of people. So it is going to be a pretty dramatic phase. Uh, and people issues are definitely going to come up. And a number of people would be finding uh, themselves anxious, uh, insecure, um, they would be finding themselves um, with a lack of orientation, not knowing what to do. And uh, you as HR managers would be uh, responsible for advising others how to manage these people's issues. Uh, then uh, another aspect is to align your HR policies. Uh, particularly the total rewards policy uh, in, in your uh, compensation packages. So you need to align your HR policies uh, because earlier you had two companies working separately with different compensation packages, with different reward packages. Now you need to align all that, particularly uh, in many cases you would see that there would be tax differences uh, people, expatriates coming uh, to work in your country, they would be having issues of uh, how they would be managing their pay. Someone would want to get paid in their uh, parent uh, country. Someone would want to get paid right there. They would uh, have to deal with the tax issues. So you need to align that what they are getting in compensation is aligned uh, between the two companies. Then you would be uh, monitoring the process of organizational and people-related integration activities. So the HR is not just concerned about uh, the integration of HR because HR, human resource, is the main resource of the organization. And uh, you need to be careful that the organizational integration is based on human integration. And therefore, the human resource department would be specifically responsible for monitoring this process. Uh, then you need to uh, capture the synergies of human resource. So uh, you need to ensure that the two cultures coming together, it is creating a synergistic effect, which means that uh, the uh, combination of the two is greater than the addition of the two. That means that it is rewarding more for both the organizations by coming together. So what are the synergies which are being um, exploited by 
bringing together the two companies and particularly in the HR arena uska kya fayda ho raha hai kya synergy achieve ho rahi hai kis tarah se log behtar tarike se kaam kar rahe hain ikatthe milke kaam kar rahe hain to kis tarah se aapko organization mein synergy achieve ho rahi hai ye aapne uh, ensure karna hai and then another very much important aspect of HR um uh, a hr department is to uh, make this entire process a source of learning aapne a merger kiya ya aapne acquisition ki aap do cultures ko ikattha lekar aaye aapne task integration ki aapne uh, you, you entered a new market how did you do that uh, you need to make it as a learning example uh what are the reasons that it was successful what were the problems what were the issues what were the reasons for success what were the reasons of lag what were the reasons of for example if there is failure what are what are the reasons for that so that has to become a source of learning for future mergers and acquisitions not just in your organization but for other organizations as well what made a merger or acquisition successful the hr department is responsible for analyzing this entire uh, process of success or in other words in fail uh, the, the process of failure so uh, we have to make it a source of learning so these are the various different activities uh and hr implications uh for the phase of implementation in a merger or acquisition